good day to you. My name is Maria Kondzielska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. We just celebrated Easter here in Poland. And what are doing Chinese in the same moment? That will tell us Olgiet Uziemboj Synologist. Hello. Hello to you. Um, I know mm. that the Chinese are celebrating Christmas in some form. What about Easter? No. No, it is not a, a known holiday because Western culture luckily hasn't uh, made it so commercial yet. So it is not celebrated in China because Christmas made it to China only in its, in its commercial form. So for stores, for buying things, buying for presents. Buying things, presents, gifts, Santa Claus, red hats and stuff, yeah. Sheng Dang Jie. Sheng Dang Jie and all the songs, Ping An Ye and all that stuff. But not Fu Hu Jie, not uh, Easter. Oh, yeah, so Easter. But they have a uh, also celebration of rebirth because since spring is an important time in, in way, China. Yes, in a way, yes, because there is a, in a way, because there is a celebration of the Chinese All Saints Day. So commemorating it, death. Commemorating dead people and rebirth of of of, of the of the nature uh, and the world and people and, and and the world and everything, and this is called Qingmingjie. Uh, festival of brightness and, and clear air, because it, you, you, you sense it in the air. It's fourth day of the fourth uh, of month. A, a fourth day of the fourth month. Calculate oh. what is that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course it, it coincides sometimes with Easter. And um, usually Chinese people celebrate it by going to the graves and sweeping the graves. It's also, also called a Grave sweeping festival in Taiwan sometimes is called a, a hungry ghost festival because you're supposed to feed the hungry ghost. It's it's so much like our jade. So our jade of Mitskevich, exactly. Yes. Uh, so it, you it's, feed, it's the, yeah. feed the feed the dead people. But... Feed the dead people by putting stuff on the graves, burning stuff. It's quite interesting because supposedly in ancient times there are two similar festivals, one around autumn and one around uh, April. And on our side of the Uralus Mountains, only the November one survived. Yes, for the community. And in China, only the spring one, uh, spring one festival. Uh, spring one dead people. Dead people <laughs> celebration survived. survived. And it's interesting, you are burning things because fire, it's again some kind of a common feature. If you look at the Easter celebration, it's always fire in the church is very important, right? Yes. And in China, fire brings the message to the dead people. So, yes. the, so the burning gifts, not only money, it's like thousands of paper money are burned, but paper houses, paper, paper houses. cars, and in good old times when the passport was difficult to get, Paper passports. Oh, so they can travel to that one. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, There's yeah. all the things that are connected. And it's interesting because you, if you look, I actually thought that one of our museums was planning on to have a, having a display, a big display of those, of those materials because this is everything that is connected to status is being burned so that dead people can have it. In ancient times, it was money clothes and food. Yeah, so made, but made burned. out of paper, yes? Yeah, but food, food is real. Food is real. Food is not burned, it's put on the grave. I was always wondering about it when they put food on the graves. Are not all the bugs coming on the graves? Are not, not eating Not the people who are feeding of it. Okay. <laughs> and it was really interesting to observe because in old times there was not a graveyard. But, for, for example, in our area when I studied, uh, there were, the graves were along the rivers. Oh, I see. On the banks. Along the rivers on the banks. Yeah, so there's like s s some, some trees growing together that, that, that were put there. And another bunch of trees, another bunch of trees on an island. And it's amazing because once we sat <clears throat> on a temple mound with our friends, and because it was the, the dead people's celebration, you could sit down and drink. So we sat down, drank, and we observed the whole parade of like few families together that are going from graveyard to little graveyard to little graveyard, throwing the uh, uh, little firecrackers, so it sounded like a warfare, firing of bombs and waving flags and going from one place to another place to another place. It looked like a New Year celebration. 
Is it because firecrackers and all together, that's an important part of Chinese culture? Yes, and they're supposed to stave off the bad ghosts, the evil ghosts. Oh, I see. So fireworks are against the, the, the evil ghosts, but you cannot put them in the cities anymore. So you cannot... Well, depends on where and how much police is around. Okay, I see. It's like supposedly you're not supposed to fire off uh, firecrackers in Warsaw on New Year's Eve. Agreed, but it's, it depends where <laughs> <laughs> and if there is any police around. Yes. Agreed. Okay, but in the center of Hong so Kong, in the center of Shanghai. Theoretically, in big cities, you're not supposed and uh, you're not doing it, but still, some people do it. Some people don't care. Well, there are a lot of skyscrapers mm. right now in yes. China, so I, can, I guess it, it might be... Uh, but if you go to the top, it's cool. <laughs> so outside in the villages, it's cool. Yes. But it's a part, so, so they are scaring off the ghosts. Yes. Okay, one more question. I would say, considering c culture, but out of the blue, is it true that the Chinese um, are doing special, uh, I would say, holes in the buildings? I mean, they are building the buildings so that they have, I would say, windows so the dragons can pass without problems. Is it true? Or is it a myth? That one I haven't heard. Because you, you've, you've seen... It's a, interesting. You've seen the, the Chinese buildings, don't you? And very often, they, even when they are apartments, or they, they have a hole inside. They're like built here and there is a hole. Have you seen, have you seen Dvořec Vileński? Yes. Have you seen the tall apartment blocks that are around Dvořec Vileński? Might have, but I can't. They have a hole too. Okay, but it's a common <laughs> thing in... <laughs> they have holes because of the wind. And it's a common thing in China, so it might be the wind. It's, 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 it's mostly about the wind. About China, I'll have to check. Yes, okay. I because I've heard that it's a free passage of dragons. I That's would, what I I've would, heard. I would believe that it's something to do with the feng shui. The feng shui might be. So the other cultural thing. So geomantic thing that there is supposed to be a good passage of energy, qi. Perhaps it is personified by a dragon. But I don't know, I don't want to tell you the untruth. Yes. But I know the buildings are usually built, especially the big ones with the use of feng shui as well. Feng shui, so they need to be a good passing of energy uh, that considers especially shrines, what I've... What I've no, not everything, ever. everything, every building. So the passage of water as well? Water, air, energy, uh, concerning the mountain and, uh, and the river. So. Well, uh, I would say with good uh, energy and with a uh, good feng shui, uh, then the, the dragon can pass also easily. So I, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know about it. It's really interesting. Well, you always the, learn. the dragons are most beautiful, and it's the fact that they exist uh, in Chinese cultures that's even even more scary or even more interesting. Well, the dragons in Chinese culture is yet another topic that we have to once touch. I agree, but here we full, make a full stop. So when we in Europe or in the Western world, especially in Thailand, celebrate Easter, so also rebirth of life in the form of Jesus Christ, of course, uh, the Chinese are commemorating uh, the, the form of all saints, so commemorating the dead and going to graves. They, I would say it always combines together since the common topic is spring and the, the new life which comes with spring, they have something together. And I hope it was also interesting for you. And thank you very much for being with us.